Hi there, it's Patmos, and nice of you to join me for another episode of our Life is Feudal Forest Village game. And here we have our small forest village, 20 people living in it, and I think it's time to continue its development. Let's set it on speed 5, and let's see. Well, we are building a school, which is very good, because educated citizens are really good. And we are building another small house after that, because we need to grow. And we need to start thinking ahead. What else should we do? And one of the things I want to do is get a bigger variety of food. We're getting little bits amount of meat. We're getting some fruits. We're getting vegetables. But that's about it. So I want to add fish to that. It's one of the things we need to work on in this episode. And I want to start producing tools. And we can either go for primitive tools or for high quality tools, which are better. So I usually just skip the primitive tools and try and go for high quality tools. But we'll have to see what we can do. And, well, this is a big thunderstorm. But at least they're building the school, and that's going quite well. We have three free, free villagers that can gather stuff. And I think it's really important that we gather stone. And we gather some iron. I guess we already told them to do that. So they should be continuing. Now it's winter, it's not freezing yet, so we can have them continue. Oh, this guy can go away. This field is empty, he can go away. As soon as the field is empty, you can send them out. This one still has crops, so he can go on and harvest for as long as he can. We can add an extra hunter, an extra fisherman. Let's get a steady flow of wood. We have plenty of firewood, so that's not an issue. We can put one extra builder in, so that goes quicker. And then we can use the winter time to gather a lot of stuff, like iron, stone, etc., and, and do some development in our village. I do want to go with a fish farm at some point, because you only need one guy to work that for quite a good amount of food that comes out of it but we need clay for that we can't afford a clay mine yet so that's going to take a little while but in the meantime we're going to expand our little village right, school goes quickly now temperature still above zero so that's good we do have a good amount of food stored for a while just need different types of food. One of the things we also need then is stuff to make tools. Now I have to check, but I do believe we need either a kiln or a furnace. Yeah, we need a kiln. What I would really love for this game is to have tool tips to tell me what it does. Because that's really good. If you can just click on it and you can see, well, this makes charcoal or this makes whatever. That's really good. That's what I want. I like that. I do believe we need a kiln and a furnace to make um, cast iron and charcoal. And that's what we need to produce good tools. At least that's how I see it. And, well... If we want to do that, I think we also need an extra woodcutter's lodge, or a carpenter's lodge, or is it lumberjack lodge, because we need a lot of fire with them, because if you want to burn charcoal, they will use firewood for it. So I'm going to build an extra one of these as well. Alright, school is done, let's get a teacher in. Let's see, immediately two kids, well three kids are going to school, there's number four, very good. They don't have to go to school for the whole three years that they're young. So hopefully most of them can get really educated. That'll be nice. House almost done. Very good. And I want that extra lumberjack. All right, the house is done. So we have room for some growth now again. They're immediately expecting a baby, so they were waiting for some room to get an extra kid in. It's fine, by the way, but... Oh yeah, we need that farmer. I'm not going to chop any extra wood at the moment. We just want iron and stone for future production. 
Right. We should probably just tell them what else we need. So we need a kiln. there and a furnace for now I guess that will do the trick for a little while once they are done we can add a different buildings again I do believe then we need the carpenter shop for the blacksmith I think we need the carpenter but I'm not sure that's the thing i play games but i play them not just I, I'm, I'm not just recording videos about life is feudal of course i do austria i do dawn of man and life is feudal now and i now record this episode and next up will be an episode for austria and then will be an episode for dawn of men so and that's all in my free time which lately i don't have that much because we are redoing my wife's office, well, I am redoing it, so I had to insulate it and paint it, etc. I'm still busy with that. And, of course, I have to take care of our little girl and do all the house chores, etc. So I do this in my free time. So I don't have time, a lot of time on my hands to just play around and, and learn more about these games. I have a few games where I've built it all, but I think, I think we need a carpenter, but I'm not sure. We're going to see. At least it's a cheap one of the two, so would be better if we just need a carpenter. It's just too bad that it won't say, oh, it, it does this or it does that, so you can just build it. All right, we just need one builder now. We can have two more people making firewood, which is good. We'll have a lot of firewood then. now have someone making cast iron. Well, we can't because we don't have any charcoal yet. So let's wait with that. Someone into a charcoal burner first later on. But at the moment, well, they're gathering iron and stone, so that's a good thing. I just needs to finish this building so we can start producing charcoal. Now, the houses will also use charcoal. So, that's a minor issue because you can't just tell the houses not to use charcoal. That you reserve it for the industry. So, that's the thing. I would really love to have a mechanic where you can just tell things that they can't use it. So, you can just tell the houses they use firewood and not charcoal. I guess we just need to produce a lot of charcoal. Which we can, of course, so we'll just have to wait. And everything is close to the warehouse, so that's a good thing. Everything should be close by. The firewood, all the other stuff they need later on, so that's a good thing. And, well, we mainly just have to wait for new workers. There's one H5, and three H4, so Athart should be ready quite quickly to start working. And after that, there's will be three more that can start working. So that's good. Perhaps at some point I should build a house here as well. So these guys and the fishermen can live there. I think that'll be good. I don't know yet, but that'll be good. And then one of the things I want to do is gather a lot of stuff, because if we want to get like a clay pit, we need like 300 and something wood, so that's a lot. But we'll have to see. Well, it's midwinter now, so... Lots of snow. Our hunter should be busy. There we have a woodcutter. That's good. Well, everyone 
everyone's doing their job, so that's all fine. Lots of babies being born at the moment, that's good. I like it that way. Alright, we should probably start planning on the blacksmith now. We have a shortage of wood, iron and stone. But I really want it done to produce at least a few tools. Because if you produce just a few tools, that is already really helpful. Right. Let's just put it down. We're going to need stone, a little bit of iron and a lot of wood. Let's make sure we can actually get that. So let's just tell it to stop. Picking up everything. Let's first get a bit of wood. Then we need quite a bit of stone, actually. Well, that's 85 stone. That's good. And just a little bit of iron. Well, yeah, two is enough. But it also needs iron later on. So, yeah, let's do like 32. That's it. All right. They should now gather everything. And then we can continue our work. Well, they're already bringing in the wood, of course. Yes, Utthart has grown up and is ready to work, so we can now use an extra villager to do some work. That's good. Let's check our farms, because winter is coming to an end. Potato, 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 potato. I'm going to switch this one out to grass. We need a bit of extra hay. And this one always takes the longest, so if we make it grass, it can finish in time. That'll be good. And I do think we have plenty of food anyway, so I'm not really going to worry about it. We are out of wood, so we have a few people not doing anything. But as soon as they collect the wood that I told them to, that should be fine. We'll see, they're now collecting all the stone we have. As soon as they've placed that, they should all wander, start to wander and, and get some wood. So that's good. Won't take too long. Alright, we're officially out of most resources. Now let's continue. Yeah, there they go. Chopping trees, bringing in the wood so everyone can start to work again. Alright. Nothing to worry about. Yeah. Need a lot of stone though. I only selected like 80, I believe. We need more. 28, 46. Well, let's see if that gets us close. Let's put it on speed 10 for a little while. Now we have four farms, so we should free up four people as soon as the winter ends. We have four gathering stuff now. So I'm going to get one from fishery, one from the hunting squad. And they're going in the farm, so we keep two to collect all the resources and of course do the building. Because that's also important. And since we're out of tools, work will be less efficient. So as soon as we can, we need those tools. I guess I should put one in the furnace now. Make sure that he starts working on cast iron, because that's what we need. Still out of charcoal, uh -huh. though. But as soon as... This one brings a badge to the warehouse. We should be able to pick some up, I guess. At least that's what I hope. And of course it would be nice if we could get a bigger stream of stuff going, but we need more people for that, so that's not going to work right now. Well, all the wood is in, so that's good. I think they're now starting to walk towards places where they can get their stone and iron. Yeah, they're bringing in stone again, so that's good.
At least during the summer they won't use up all the... Um, oh, it's... Um, let's slow down a little bit. One, two, one, two, three, four. Perfect. Right, we have one guy. It's now collecting stuff. At least all the farms are worked now, which is important. I always want more food. The school's still working. This is looking nice. Probably. Also put one in gathering, because they can gather fruit then. And uh, one of the next things could be a... Orchard. So that we can grow our own fruit. But it takes quite a while, and I want to get tools first. Alright, 128 stone, so that's slowly coming together. Still have plenty of firewood, so I'm going to get one of that. Because I do want to do some extra work at the moment. Get all the stone. Right, they're gathering iron now. Which is good. All we need now is stone, stone, and more stone. This is stone icon. There's 16 stone right there. Seven right here. They're already collecting it right there, so that should work. And Clayton is now ready to start working, so we have an extra worker. That's good. First they bring in a little bit of iron, but that's also very good. I think we need an extra kiln soon. Just to make sure that we produce enough. Because this goes quite slow. Although temperatures are rising, which is a good thing. We got one charcoal, that's just not enough. But we got one, so at least that's something. Getting this guy out. Ooh, now we have again. Yeah, there he goes. He's going to pick it up. Or at least he should. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. 164 stone in it now, so just a bit more and we can start producing. When he's signed a builder. Ooh, house on fire. Well, we have a few wells, so they should be able to... Yeah. Let's put out quickly. They're going to repair it. Well, that went fast. Well, it's P10, of course, so that helps, but yeah. They put it out pretty quick. I like it. Yeah, almost there. Now we got five pieces of cast iron, so that's good. That's a good start. more stone, six more stone, four more stone. Yeah, there he goes. Great. I think I'm going to slow down a bit again. I do want him to continue gather stuff like stone, etc. Because we need a lot. And we need iron, of course, because otherwise our kiln won't work. Blacksmith can't either, so yeah, let's pick up iron. And after that, let's just build this building so it's done. Everyone can start to gather stuff. And then we should really start focusing on building up a big stockpile of goods. Well, wood's going fine, but all the other stuff we need more. That would be really helpful. I thought we had two more teenagers that should be... Yeah, we have two more at age five, so they should be ready quickly. We have one at age... Oh. She earned five now as well. So yeah, there's a few more incoming. That's good. That's going to work at least. Three more. Guess we also need an extra house then again. Make sure that we can keep growing. Probably lay foundations already. 
right there. Let's just switch it around so the door faces the other way. I think that's more efficient. Let's go. Well, this goes good. Although we have a pretty big industry now for such a small town, so we need to focus on growth a bit as well. It still is fine though, but yeah. If you haven't listened to the music from this game, you really should. Because that's really cool. I wear a microphone and a headphone, so I'm, I'm hearing the music. I hope you can hear it too. And if not, please let me know so I can turn up the volume a little bit. Food reserves are low. Yeah, we have only 4,000 food, so yeah. Alright, we have a blacksmith now. Let's start producing at least a few tools. At least if we have a few tools, we can work more efficient. And usually if I have like a stockpile of 50, or something like that, or maybe 20, I'll just get him out and let him do other jobs for a little while until we run out again, and then I'll just send him to work. Especially when jobs are scarce, when people are scarce. Now we have a good amount of people, but we need many more to fulfill all the jobs. And later on, if you get a little bit bigger, you have plenty of people, you can just let them work all year round. I just can't at the moment. Alright, we have two people working, but we need one piece of iron. We should be able to get that. Because we've selected that. Probably just doing the stone first. Yeah, he brought in stone. Well, let's just wait a little bit. Put it on speed 5 again, that's fine. It's early summer already, year 4. But everything's going going smoothly. No big issues or whatever. Yeah, these two need iron as well, so we need to pick up the iron supply. It'd be really great if we could get a few... Uh, mines going, but they're so expensive in terms of wood that it's not for now. To wait with that a little bit. Well, at least we are building a good stockpile of stones, which is important. Let's get these two out of building. Oh, let's keep one. They need to gather stuff. Yaltsuz has grown up and is now ready to study. And Amenaya is now working. Alright, that's good. Three people working now. Four will be available once farming season is over. This one is in time now because it's collecting the grass, which is good. We have a lot of hay then. So yeah, that's all good. Perhaps it's also time to start working on a small... Orc jar then. We can, might be able to do it here. Now I've read that the ideal size would be 14 by 18. Because one guy can work that. So yeah, let's put it here. Let's get trees in. As soon as we can. That should do the trick. For fruit. So we have an extra food supply. A different type of food, which is good. Alright, we've got an extra house. We've plenty of room now. Room for six more. Only one baby on the way. That's all fine. Everything's working here right now, which is also very good. I do think we need an extra kiln, though, to make enough of the... Um,
what's called charcoal. A lot of different names. I sometimes get them mixed up before I forget one. All right, it's summer now, so I should be able to grow the trees and then maybe next season already start a harvest, but we'll see. That's all fine. Yep, yeah, let's put apples in. Let's get one in. Let's plant the trees and see how we can do. Planting all the trees, so that's good. They will survive the winter. One more piece of wood and he can start to build. There it is. Perfect. There he goes. Another kill. Well, that should help. Because mainly charcoal is the problem at the moment. Gloria's ready to work. Let's get one extra into wood, to firewood because they'll be using a lot of firewood. And the rest of my people should now just gather stuff. For instance, let's gather a few trees. Though I think they're still gathering iron, so they're not going to cut the trees any moment. This field is almost done, so we need to keep an eye on it to get this guy out, or girl, I don't know, whoever's working it. Otherwise they'll start to work again, but they can't do a complete harvest, so that's not good. But at least we're getting somewhere. Our village is growing, we have plenty of food, we're starting to produce tools now. And uh, yeah, we set up a whole production chain there, so that's good. And I guess... We should start working on a lot of supplies, like wood, stone and iron, and then we can perhaps get a clay mine or something like that to start real fish production. So yeah, lots of things to be done. Alright, this is good. We can do something else. Johnny is now ready to study, so he's going to school. That's also very good. I need to have a few kids though. One, two, all right, three babies on the way. That's good. And one is born. Perfect. Building is almost full. Yeah, this one. Well, that's fine. We have another one, so they can store food there as well. They just have to walk a bit further, but that's okay. It's fine. Yep, yeah, this one's almost empty. Perfect in time. Phoenix is also ready to study, so yeah, kids are growing up. Let's wait until he's done. He's done. Perfect. You can get out of that field. Well, more people available to gather stuff. I have been bringing down a few trees. Because now we need iron to keep all these things working. So yeah, let's go on with that. For people... Still good weather, so that's a good thing. Let's get one into gathering to get us some extra fruits. And we're coming up on one half hour. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I know I did. Although this game just takes a lot of your time to, to get it developing. But I really enjoy it, so I hope you did too. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't done so, please subscribe to my channel. And of course, I hope to see you in another video. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.